Ghosts. What are ghosts by definition? A ghost is an apparition of a person who is no longer with us, which is believed to appear or become manifest to the living. Typically, as a nubilist image. If you ask me, do I believe in ghosts? I will simply say, yes. And you may ask, hmm, Chucky, why do you believe in ghosts? Because one tried to knock my door off his hinges. This video is going over my paranormal experiences I've had throughout my life. These are kind of collab into things I feel comfortable talking about. And, you know, the most scariest ones that I feel comfortable talking about. Because, you know, I'm not scared of something may possibly try to come back and grab me. But, you know, starting off with the first story, the lady in the white dress. So this story happened when I was about seven, when I lived in Mississippi with my mom. And as a kid, I was pretty chill. I had the young ethnic child starter pick with the turtle cranium to match. But other than that, I was pretty chill. But I had something that always happened to me in the house. Sleep paralysis. Now, you may be thinking, sleep paralysis, you have a thing where you can't move in bed, right? See, get in real close to this. <laughs> I could move my torso all around. I could move my torso, bro. And this caused me to encounter something that I haven't seen ever since. So that I was laying in bed with all the lights off in a nightlight. And suddenly I wake up not able to move. And in my seven year old head, I notice a sleep paralysis. And I start rolling myself back and forth in bed to wake up. But this night I roll myself out of bed and slam right onto the floor. But I still can't move anything but my torso. And I notice the light is on from across my room. My bathroom light is on, mind you, just directly across from my room. So I think it's my mom, so I try to roll and try to get my mom's attention. My mom's not in the bathroom. It's a woman in a white dress. <laughs> now, as a kid stuck, first, I know I can't scream because I can only roll my body. And secondly, I don't want this lady to grab me. So I sit there, quiet, and about 30 seconds to a minute pass by, and she looks in my direction. And when she turns around, I don't see a face. It's just shadowy looking. This is important later. Then the lights cut off, and I was able to move again. So I get up and hightail it to my mom's room, because as a little kid, I'm scared, but at the same time, I don't know what just happened. Bro, my mom was snoring and I was scared to walk back to my room. Bro, when I mean snoring, bro, my mom was like dead eyes in her bed, like, <clears throat> like, bro, she was knocked out, bro. Like she had just finished working the shift at Walmart, bro. She was, she was, she was out, bro. She was asleep. But I just walked back to my room, get in bed, and go to sleep. What? Y'all thought I was gonna do something crazy? That was I was seven. I couldn't do anything, period. But remember how I said the thing was shadowy. This is the thing about my family. My family is Creole and Afro-Indigenous. Lucy chucked up from the Mississippi band, to put it to be exact. And in our tribe, we have these bad spirits in our tribe that eat and feed on people's souls in dire times of being called soul eaters. And they're these all black figures. Not good things. So think of like the things from like Kingdom Hearts, but like in a more human appearance and not cute at all. Just downright horrifying. So realizing that four years into reconnecting is what horrified me. <laughs> but you know me, little guy. <laughs> I'll never let nothing bad happen to you. Now, this second story happened when I was 16, when I was home alone, and it was late at night. And I was chefing up, you know what I'm saying? Like, Gordon Ramsay, who? I can make a better beef, Wellington, Wellington, whatever he's called, bro. Like, I can make a better one. Like, bro, I make fire food. Like, bro, I chef up, bro. If I wasn't going to culinary school, I could, and I could be top of the class. Anyways, enough of the flexion. But anyways, I was chefing up, and I seen a door creak open slowly to my backyard. And it was pitch black, and it wasn't windy at all, bro. This had already been a red flag. But I wasn't too startled, so I just walked to the door and closed it. And made sure it was locked and wasn't able to open. So I get back to cooking, and then the door opened again. 
the door opened again and it slammed against the wall hard as hell and in my head i'm like what is going on Please! so now i'm genuinely frightened and i speed walk to the door close it then i call my friend at the time <clears throat> <clears throat> this fine Dominica girl. Oh my gosh, you bad. We're gonna call her Johnny. And I call her and tell her the situation. And she gives me the greatest words to hear in the situation. Yeah, bro, you're gonna die. Bro, I'm gonna shit myself. And then something hits my mind. So y'all remember when I told y'all I'm a reconnect man earlier? I had an older Oneida lady teaching me the basics on how to properly reconnect. So I give her a call. Hello? Oh, uh, hey. What's up? I think it's something in my house. Okay. Your thing is like a bad spirit or something. Did you try telling it to leave? This is the thing. My door opened and slammed like multiple times. Like, I don't know what like happened. It just happened out of nowhere. So you telling me your door opened and closed and then slammed multiple times. Yeah, pretty much. Bro, I thought I was done for, gang. I ain't even gonna lie to you, bro. Hey, but I manned up and I told it to leave, bro. I should have told it to leave. Hey, moral of the story. Don't be a pussy! Last video hit 2.3k fucking views and 87 subs, dog. Give that fucking round of applause. I truly want to say thank you all for the unwavering love and support you all show me because without you guys, I wouldn't be able to do this. Now, I have more gaming videos on the way, y'all. All types of heat cooking in the kitchen. It's on in for the Twitch stream, so... Because I plan on, like, playing a lot of games on stream. And I plan on beating Fazbear Sprites. But, yeah. Um... I said, like, if these videos do good, I'll make more. So... I'm gonna make more of these vids, but like, I still want to acknowledge the fact that I have to say, like, I'm not a commentary YouTuber. I'm not like a story YouTuber. It's like, I'm just a creative person and I just want to be able to do like multiple things without it like getting in the way of like, oh, I thought he was this certain type of YouTuber. You know, I'm an all around versatile person, you know? Like, yeah, I just want my craft to be as fluid as the world itself you know i don't want to be locked in a bubble you know because i realize i'm bigger than that but yeah i just want to say again thank you all for tuning in and just watching me and showing me all the way bring love and support but yeah that'll be today's video like share subscribe i love you guys peace